Dante Wright uh, will never be able to come back home again. So we'll be watching closely uh, the, the trial of Kim Potter once again. Um, and hoping that the uh, the, the uh, jury gets it right. I mean, <sighs> watching the uh, the trial of the killers of Ahmaud Arbery, the McMichaels and Brian, I don't say if it, get, it, it, it makes me feel positive about juries these days because we also <clears throat> know that, you know, just because a uh, one juror, a uh, jury got it right, uh, 10 or 11 white jurors and one black jury got it right in that trial, doesn't mean it's always going to be the same case. And there's a majority of white people on the jury when it comes to the Kim Potter trial as well. So we just hope that we look and see humanity once again. And one day we will stop being able to look and break down the makeup of the jury because it shouldn't matter when it comes down to these type of situations. You know, when it comes to justice, because if we're all American citizens, it's not about okay, well, this person is black, so he's less than. Uh, hopefully we can get there one day. I know we're not there, and I'm not naive enough to think that we are. Uh, <clears throat> but hopefully that this jury, as they start to take in uh, the, the uh, arguments uh, from the prosecution and defense, they'll listen with an open heart and open mind and uh, see a child loss because of a, a um, what do you call that thing, the air freshener. And because he was scared and because this woman who was supposed to be a training officer, I don't want to say she made him. I don't know what she yeah. did, but she 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 has to pay for what she did. She does. Well, I want to talk about the makeup of the jury. I don't have that in front of me right now, but I will say this. It's going to be hard. Mm. And the prosecutors have an uphill battle to humanize Dante Wright. Because what we've seen looped is an arrest, an attempted arrest being made. Um, and the person in the courtroom is Kim Potter. And we don't see her the way we saw her that day on the body cam footage, rushing in, aggressive, not following protocols. 26 years on the force, mm -hmm. not following protocols. What we see in the courtroom is, and she's legit scared, she should be, a uh, portly, cardigan-wearing, soft, motherly-looking white woman. And she may be all of those things authentically, but the portrayal, even the sketch that we showed um, as we were running some footage, as we were talking about it, you know, obviously you're, mm -hmm. you're going to be... Mm -hmm. Look at the sketch. That's who's in that courtroom, mm -hmm. a mother with her hands, mm -hmm. left hand over the mm -hmm. right, folded. That's not who she was that day. And people, oh, it's an accident, you know? It's an accident. I, so I don't know. Oh, here it is. How many jurors are white? Um, I don't know that yet. We'll get you the information, okay? We know that, no, yeah. Um, so here's the thing. What we have to do once again as black people is keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. If this mostly white yep. jury can see the victim in this case. Again, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to talk mm -hmm. about criminalizing people because he was pulled over for what? <laughs> I mean, stop. So st stop. Yeah. yeah. Child, yeah. 20 years old. None of the 12 jurors we'll are white. One black, two Asian, and uh, both alternates. Uh, two alternates are also white. So, yeah. like you said, we will uh, we'll see what happens there. We'll be keeping a close eye on that.